Hello, my name is Kerry Arthur, and today we are going to have a look at some of my favourite Age of Sigmar kits that can be used for just just up in the game on your Warhammer 40k Chaos Army. Now, when it comes to things like specifics, like Thousand Suns, Death Guard, for the most part, there is a lot of stuff that you can do just with their own kits. Thousand Suns are a bit less spiky. Death Guard, similarly, a little bit less spiky, more kind of, I was going to say dribbly, oozy is probably the word. But if you're going for something like Iron Warriors, if you're going for Black Legion, if you're going for something a bit more traditional chaos, some of the stuff in this is absolutely for you. And the first thing is this particular box here, which are the Skeleton Warriors. They are not that great to put together, I'm not going to lie. I do have a box of these, and they were a little fiddly, to say the least. But, but... There is such a wealth of parts in this kit that if you get it from like Element, for instance, or Alchemist Workshops or whatever your your local store is, um, if you get it like below retail, it's it's such a good value box for parts. I mean, for a start, just looking at them, you can easily pose these to just be unarmed, essentially skeletons attached to vehicles, attached to Chaos Knights, attached to anything you like really if you're looking for a like a pack of skulls and other body parts i mean games workshop does the pack of skulls if you're looking for full skeletons funnily enough skeleton warriors absolutely the way to go because they are pretty easy to pose they're pretty easy to manipulate the contact points are very small which is what makes putting them together so difficult but they also come with a bunch of different weapons so you can see these like these ones have been outfitted with with spears and shields but there is also sword and board. You can do sword and board as well, which is what I built mine as. I built mine as a sword and shield because they are for D&D, &D, they're not for Age of Sigmar, which meant that I had a ton of the spears left over, including the standard as well. Those spears, I mean, three of them already are on my Chaos Knight, which uh, I'll, I'll throw a picture in of that. And... It adds an extra something. I don't really know why I like the look of it so much, but it's something a little bit different from the standard Chaos Spikes, but it still has that chaotic feel. I mean, when you look at the sprue, you get a whole bunch of stuff. You know, you can see the uh, the legs are all very similar, but you can see a bunch of different heads. There's a load of different torsos. There are plain skulls, damage skulls in there. The shields themselves, I mean, with a bit of work and a bit of filing and stuff, you can easily create, like, some ramshackle armor out of the shields. It's honestly a really good kit for giving for giving your Chaos stuff a little bit more of, like, a like a more rugged kind of look, in a way. Using, like, the swords and the, and the sh spears as a replacement for things like Chaos Spikes, it adds a kind of barbaric feel to it, and... There's just so much usable stuff in this kit that, I mean, you could, I, I reckon you could feasibly, especially if you're building an army of like Chaos Knights or something, you could quite easily end up using the vast majority of stuff in this box without ever making just a skeleton on a base as normal. It's genuinely a really good kit for like spiky bits and just, just general barbaric outlook. That you want for for certain chaos projects. Next up is the blood warriors, the uh, the corn bloodbound blood warriors, mainly because these guys are essentially perfect for using as corn berserkers. The corn berserker kit is pretty old at this point. It's not great. It's very dated. The posing, I think the models themselves were right, but the posing is atrocious because it was just as Games Workshop was starting to move into more kind of fluid, dynamic posing, and they hadn't quite nailed it at that point. And they looked okay at the time, but now we've actually seen models that look properly in motion. The Berserkers have, have kind of aged poorly as a result of that. Essentially, you buy a box of these, get yourself some, some Chaos Backpacks from a Bits website, would be absolutely fine for that. You know, you could scour eBay, you could have a look at Bits Box, which is the one I use in the UK. Um... If you wanted to just stick with the weapons they already had, to be honest, for the most part, you could probably get away with it. If you wanted to switch out to traditional chain axes, for instance, 
then you can go to Forge World. I mean, Forge World still do uh, packs of chain axes. You can also get packs of like bolt pistols and so on. There's also countless other websites that will do that weaponry. I mean, uh, Conversion World was is one. They do some really nice uh, chain weaponry. Uh, there's also places like Spellcrow and uh, Cromlech as well. I think Bits of War and Cromlech are the same thing, aren't they now? I can't remember. But like, there's a bunch of different parts websites that you could easily get replacement weapons for. And I mean, when you look at these guys, yes, there is a bit of bare skin going. Yes, the armor is a little bit, like, it's a bit more fantasy and a bit less power. But to be honest, once you've stuck a Chaos backpack on this dude, if you've maybe taken away the, uh, the mad but kind of awesome whatever weapon that is, <laughs> axe with an extra blade on the bottom, with a chain axe, you, you set. I mean, you're good to go. It, it, Corn has such a distinct look, and these guys fit that distinct look so well. Also, the fact that the, the World Eaters have that kind of more, again, that more kind of barbaric look to them, that more gladiatorial look, I suppose is probably the way to put it, these still fit really, really well. I mean, I've seen people use these as berserkers, and honestly, they look like they were made j for just that purpose. They they take the place of those older models really, really effectively. So, yeah, I, it, it, if it came to doing some sort of corn army, I wouldn't even bother touching the, berser the berserkers box. I would just get the blood warriors and convert them instead. I mean, it would cost a little bit extra, sure, uh, but to be honest, they look so much better. <laughs> they look newer, they look fresher, they look... Even though they're not moving as much in their poses, it still looks like more more fluid, more human movement, less stunted. Next up is the, the Morgast Harbingers. I really like this kit. It's a pain in the ass to put together. Yeah, like it's it's properly not fun to put together. <laughs> just totally honest with you, but the end result looks great. And if you're going for a demon prince, and you're going for a certain look, I mean, they take the place of the demon prince so nicely. The wings look great. There's there's that nice uh, that nice kind of spirit effect coming off the bottom of them. With a little bit of, I mean, with a little bit of wrangling, maybe with a bit of green stuff work, you could make them look a lot more heavily armoured than they are. The head is actually pretty easy to transplant with something more demonic looking, if that if that takes your fancy more. The weapons are very easy to swap out; like they're they're not they're not difficult to uh, to swap at all, which is nice. Um, yeah, I, I feel like this is one of the one of the properly good alternatives to to the current Demon Prince kit. It does have a very specific look to it. It's not going to be appropriate for all armies, but especially something like especially something like uh like Zinch focused, mm. this it works it works well. And I have to admit I have used the wings off these uh for my own uh demon demon prince for my Empress children. Uh which is a slightly different look, but the wings just look great anyway, so it's like I, I I like it. I like it a lot. It's it's a it's a really decent model. You can do quite a lot with it. You might think, looking at it like first off, that you can't, but yeah, there's a fair amount you can do with this. Okay, next up, two Skaven things because uh, this stuff is great, especially for especially for vehicles, especially for, like Chaos Knights, um, the warp lightning cannon, and uh, by extension, the other thing that I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, but yeah, the, these these two, it comes from the same kit, one of which is only available from the Games Workshop site, but the other is available from third-party retailers, which is a bit confusing. The Warp Lightning Cannon you can get anywhere, but the, uh, the what is that? I've totally forgotten the name of it. That version seems to not be available uh, unless you go direct to Games Workshop, which is a bit disappointing, but there's a lot of stuff on this that you can use. I mean, for a start, the the cannon itself is genuinely perfect for so many things. Um, with a little bit of filing and a little bit of messing about, you can get rid of some of the Skaven runes. It's ramshackle looking, but for some Chaos armies, that that has something 
to it. Like, especially Chaos Knights. I've seen a few Chaos Knights now utilising that weapon, and it honestly works really, really well, because it looks like it's been thrown on by some, like, mad heretic tech priest as an attempt to just replace a weapon that didn't work anymore. Things like the wheels and stuff are a bit of an acquired taste, but you can use them even if it's not for something that you would immediately think. I've seen quite a few examples of especially like land raiders um, where the wooden parts of this have been used, like utilised quite well as either like decorative stuff or like reinforcement on certain areas. And I have seen someone using the wheels as like a... Uh, like a kind of grinder situation. There's lots of little parts on this kit that you can kind of stick in multiple places on multiple models that work quite well. Uh, you've got like that weird claw with all the goop on top. I actually used that claw on one of my dreadnoughts because without the goop, it's just a spiky claw. Uh, it's the same thing for like the, the knife blades on the front and things like that. There's a lot on this kit that you can use on different vehicles and when it's all put together as a Skaven thing it's like oh that's clearly Skaven with it spread out over different models and, and cut down to uh, to achieve certain kind of bits of flair on, on especially larger vehicles it stops looking Skaven and it just looks like hasty repair jobs a similar thing for this the uh, the Plague Furnace and the other version of this with the... Is it the Screaming Bell? These are, are both very popular for knights. Very popular for Chaos Knights specifically. And you can easily see why. You can create a really, really awesome like uh, like flail weapon with that big ball of nonsense there. That is the worst 360. What is the size of this? Is this a 360 spin for ants? What the hell? Um, <laughs> there we go. Let's get a pro like a proper look at it. Yeah, the the massive ball on the end works so well as especially like Nurgle theme stuff. I've seen a few knights that have got this that are like Nurgle dedicated. Um, it's just a really cool looking kit. There's also the fact that the archway with the bell. I've seen a good number of again mostly Nurgle knights utilizing that bell and the arch on the top which it looks cumbersome it looks it looks like it looks a bit too heavy to be up there but in a way it just kind of adds to the presence because it's it's so out there and it's such a like it, it falls nicely into that thing of kind of like gothic worship almost that that chaos especially has more so than uh, than Space Marines, I'd say, at this point, by a, by a fair margin with the introduction of the Primera stuff. But, yeah, there's loads of little things on this kit. The little uh, the little incense burners. The, even the... Some of the... I've seen people use the uh, the rock off the bottom of the archway and uh, some of the, like, wooden sections in really interesting ways on different vehicles. Both of those kits, the Warp Lightning Cannon and the Plague Furnace, are just covered in little details and little things that you can add onto, especially vehicles, to just give them an extra something. I mean, when it comes to things like the little incense burners and stuff, that can be applied to loads of different models. I mean, there's a, as you can see, there's a couple on there. There's a little bell and, like, some... Even the chains themselves can be, can be utilised for Chaos stuff. They're surprisingly good kits for that. So yeah, those are the those are the five kits. Well, technically, technically it's it's sort of sort of eight because the Morgast Harbingers, the Warp Lightning Cannon, and the Plague Furnace can all be built as other things, but they all come in one box. Well, three boxes. You get what I mean. Um, but those are the ones that I I like the most for just utilizing for Warhammer Forty K Chaos stuff. It's all stuff that can be transferred really easily. That brings a little bit more personality to certain things, especially like the Skaven Scuff is perfect for vehicles. The Harbingers are really good for Demon Princes. The Blood Warriors are absolutely fantastic Berserker replacements. And in terms of, you know, just bang for buck parts, I honestly think the Skeleton Warriors are really up there if you're going for a properly, like, a properly barbaric, brutal Chaos Warband. So yeah, those are those are my five favourite kits for that kind of thing. Have you used any of these? If so, what for? And uh, do you want to chuck a picture somewhere so we can have a look at what you've done? Um, have you got a kit that is your go-to for 
cool chaos parts, and if so, what is it? Let us know in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click if you don't want to. There is an affiliate link in the description for Element Games. If you click it, they let you know I sent you there, and I get a little something, and you say between 50 and 25% of 40k stuff, and painting, and bolt action, and X-Wing, and all the other stuff they sell. And you're going to buy that stuff anyway, so it's a nice way to support the channel without any extra effort whatsoever. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Toodaloo.